Okay, so there's this very useful program that honestly I wish I would have known about earlier. And this program is called Pandoc. And basically what Pandoc is, is it's a universal file converter. So basically what it does is it can take files like text files and convert, convert it to PDFs or Word files and convert it to web pages or vice versa, web pages to Word files or PDFs. And so it's able to convert a plethora of these different documents into other types of documents. And so I'll actually go ahead and get into uh, how to actually use Pandoc. So I'm going to create a test markdown file. And let's just, let's just add a few example headers. So let's do header one, header two. And let's add sub. Let's add a subheader uh, and some text. And let's add some bullets points. And let's add a link as well. So I'm adding a link to my web page because why not? And you can also add some bold text, why not? Or sorry, italic, italicized text. Um, I think bold text is two asterisks, if I'm correct. Yes, that's, there we go, bold text. Uh, and yeah, call that good. And so now what we can do is we can run this test.markdown file through pandoc. So we can do pandoc dash, oh, actually no, test, and then we do dash two to tell it what we want to convert it to. And so let's say PDF, and we can tell it what we want to output it to by doing dash O for output, and then the final name, let's do test.pdf, and let's convert it. And as you can see, we now have a test.pdf file. And so let's actually um, view that real quickly. Test.pdf. And as you can see, we have our PDF file with all the same information in it. Uh, the headers, subheaders, bullets, text, everything. In fact, the link actually works too. If I click on it, you will see, give it a moment. Uh, there we go. You can actually see that it will bring us to the web page. Very nice. So. What we can also do is we can also specify different por formats. So for example, if I want to do a Beamer format, a LaTeX Beamer presentation, I could convert it to that. And so we can have a Beamer presentation. That's, And honestly, it's very, very nice to be able to have a presentation from a text file. It makes it very, very easy, very, very simple. And also I could do an entire video about just Beamer presentations or just making web pages or really anything with uh, Pandoc, but you gotta keep it simple. So uh, let's go ahead and, oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, add some things to the file, actually. I'm going to add an image because, uh, of course, Pandoc does support images. And so let's put in, I'm gonna put in just a simple, uh, Simple image to pick dot JPEG. And oh let's go ahead and save that. And let's convert that to a normal PDF. And as you can see, we have our normal PDF with uh, an image and our caption that we included. Uh, so that's that's pretty neat to be able to easily insert all these things into just a simple text document and turn it into a PDF. So let's actually do something pretty interesting, pretty cool, as the kids say it. Uh, let's actually let's actually convert a web page on the internet into a PDF. So let's do pandoc. Here we go, pandoc from HTML to PDF. And now we're going to give it our web page. In this case, it'll be my personal web page, which is pandagroup.xyz. And then we can give it the output, which is going to be test 
dot PDF. And give it a little. Oh yeah, uh, one reminder too. Um, some web pages do have Unicode characters in them, and by default, Pandoc and LaTeX do not support uh, Unicode characters. So you might have to actually change your PDF engine. So I'll do that right now. Uh, change it to uh, XE LaTeX or ZTEC, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that way, it can actually knows how to handle uh, Unicode characters. And let's go ahead and convert that. And as you can see, uh, of course, it didn't recognize some of the characters, uh, but it successfully converted a web page straight from the internet to a PDF. And as you can see, the links actually work on here, uh, which is really nice, uh, as well as multiple other things are formatted, including the picture that's included. And it's honestly pretty cool. Uh, you can also convert a lot of other formats too. Like I think if you actually look in the man page for Pandoc, you can actually see the list, the uh, ginormous list of different uh, document types you can convert from from into. Like for example, you can convert from a docx document or uh, even even some obscure ones like JSON. Pretty obscure to be able to convert that into a PDF. Um, you can also convert to uh, to a lot of other um, types of documents like EPUBs, um, HTML, Markdown, basically a lot of other things too. In fact, I think you're able to. I'm actually curious now. Are you able to convert from a PDF? Uh, no, you're not. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, you're able to convert to and from all these different types of documents, including including even just LaTeX documents too, which sometimes defeats the purpose, but it's very useful. And basically, <laughs> uh, Pandoc just makes basically makes Office suites like Microsoft Office, LibreOffice, and like that, just obsolete. Like with Pandoc, I don't think you'll ever open an Office suite or word processor ever again in your entire life, as long as you want run this program. Because it is just just that useful, it takes like two seconds to create a PDF file from a text file, or a presentation from just a text file, or just con just converting files in general. It's very useful. Um, I definitely definitely recommend you give it a, give it a look because it's it definitely made life easier for me, at least for writing things and making presentations, documents, all that. So that's. That's Pandoc. Uh, give it a look. Honestly, I could give, I could have a separate video for literally every format for Pandoc, but it would obviously, obviously take too long. But in this video, but yeah, that's really everything um, that I'm showing this video. I will see you later.